Alright, so we're back here once again. This time we're here to do another album review. And this time we're doing it for Mr. No Cap. And we're back with his new album entitled Mr. Crawford. So look, man, um, if y'all don't know who No Cap is, he's a rapper from Mobile, Alabama. My hometown, his hometown. Whoa. And he's also, and he's Two, also, five, one, let's go. and he's also signed to, who he signed to? He signed to NBA Youngboy. So yeah, man. Uh, this is his second, if I'm not mistaken, his second debut album. I don't know how this shit works. This is his second album. Yeah, his second album. The last one he dropped was Still Human, which came out back in uh, 2020, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, bro. Um, I ain't gonna lie. My cousin Cam, he's a little bit more familiar with Mr. No Cap, you know what I'm saying? I just, my first time getting into him was like Still Human. But yeah, man, we gonna we gonna start with you, bro. How you how you feeling about Mr. Crawford? So, I ain't gonna lie, I've been listening to to No Cap since like 2016, around that time, 2015, 2016. Been trying to put me on forever. Been trying to put him on forever. He was not listening. Oh man. But that was because he was just younger, like he was different. Out. That everything about No Cap back then and now is totally different. He grew, he matured, so he, he always been known for having punchlines though. So And he got a lot of them on this album. One thing say one thing that I do notice about this album compared to like his uh like the little older stuff I had heard, I feel like he doing more melodic shit now, especially now that he signed the uh like young boy and shit. And I don't know, I feel like he I don't know. I feel like in the way he sorta of like I ain't gonna say he copying Young Boy, but it's like he taking the Young Boy formula, formula a little bit. Cause I feel like when Young Boy uh, first came out, compared to where he is now, he doing more melodic shit. Yeah, he still give you that turn up shit, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's more singing. Cap, I don't think it's a little singer though. I know, but at the same time, the little stuff that you done played me though, like all the little, the little it be like more rapidly rap sort of shit. Like, yeah, he do give you the pain stuff, but at the same time, I feel like he do it now more compared to back then, which on this album, like, he kind of get, like, personal and shit. Talking about, like, his life and, you know what I'm saying, jail and stuff he going through and shit. And, yeah, bro, like, to me, this is a, um, I don't know. The thing that really keep me in this project for real, for real, is, um, Sort of like the production and shit, but it's like the production like here and there. Like, I love it don't necessarily hit for me. So look, I ain't gonna lie, one thing that's been kind of getting to me lately, and even just with no cap, like it's just with some artists in general, just people using auto-tune and like just not, you know what I'm saying, being like, just, I don't know, being unique with it. Thing about no cap, like, I feel like he's unique in the way that, you know what I'm saying, the way he delivers his shit, not to mention like he got the, he got the, Weird ass punchlines or whatever. Like, I don't know, I could be tripping. But as I was listening to this album, bro, I swear, like, I was hearing, like, a little future in this. Oh, yeah, when you told me that, I went back. I ain't hear that shit. I don't know, maybe I was tripping. Maybe because I had just listened to the uh, the other, the future CD, then came back and listened to that. But I was like, damn, bro, I can hear, like, a little future in this. But, you know, I don't know. That, that could be, I could just be tripping. But, yeah, I don't know. What's up? Man, so. I like the album. It was like you said. It was here and there. Like this is not his best project he put out, but it's overall like it's decent. It I, to me, I didn't feel it living up to the hype. But like, I like the singles and stuff that he dropped. Yeah, like, like the, the no was, vaccine and um. Fuck, he dropped like he dropped like a few. He dropped like two other singles. Yeah, the singles every single on the whole. Yeah, I, I like the singles and stuff, and, and, you know, but it's just, with this album right here, I feel like he got, like, a lot of filler tracks, where it's just like, I don't know, this album could have been shortened. Shit, at the same time, though, I felt that, I felt the same way about Still Human, but I don't know, and to me, to me, Still Human got, like, a better, I don't know, to me, Still Human is, like, a better project compared to this one. What I'm starting to realize, like, with No Cap, I like when he's on the more up-tempo tracks. Um, like, very special. Very special. Um, what is it? Choppers and Ferraris. Um, shit, Gorilla. I, yeah, it, it, yeah. Uh, like, honestly, like... The top half. Yeah, the top half of this album is really what did it for me, you know what I'm saying? I like the bottom half, though. 
And I'm tripping, bro. He did have features on here. I don't know. The features on here weren't that memorable. Maybe I'm tripping because he, the Kodak oh, yeah. Black features on here was probably the only one that just had me like, you know what I'm saying? Like this song, you know what I'm saying? This song, cool. song was cool. Nice. Yeah, the Young Boy song didn't really do it for me. And the song, well, the Internet Money song, Internet Money, that's a production. That's the, uh, that's a production. Yeah, it's the second half of this album don't really, you know what I'm saying, hit for real. But the first half of it, that's what really do it for me. And then even from the way like he started the album with like Mr. Prophet, I was like, ooh, okay. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like it was like, damn, this shit like, this is a little bit more, I don't know, I wouldn't expect him to rap over nothing like that. Yeah, then I was so. spending some type of damn beat drop or something, but nah, it was just straight, what, drums? Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, for the most part, the first half of this album hit for me. You know, you got FTW, Vaccine. You got the second half of Vaccine with Fallen Star. Like, from that all the way down to like, took, like, from the first track to by Took a Rich. That's like my favorite part of the album, along with Choppers. Choppers and Ferraris, House Bigger, and Gr oh shit, Grenade. Yeah, Grenade on the second half. Song on the album. Damn, and it's crazy because the Grenade is like on the second half of the yeah. album. But yeah, bro. It's a solid project. It's a solid project. Yeah, I rated it on, I'll give it 7.5. I mean, if I had to rate this out of a 10, I don't yeah, know. Six. I knew, man, probably about a five, five and a half. Because right. I don't know, like I said, I feel like it's, it's, it's lagging in places and it, it, it could have been could have been better or at least like shortening them album because like it just feel like you got a lot of fill on you yeah. know what I'm saying so yeah he just got the heat spread up yeah or shit like we said it's in the first in the first half yeah. like shit, we like the first half of the album but yeah man I don't know hopefully you know what I'm saying no cap if you're watching this pretty sure you probably pissed off with this but no cap if you're watching this Keep doing what you're doing, man. Like how you growing and stuff. Um, I just became a fan of your music. I will be giving this more and more spans, man. But continue to do what you do. And yeah, I'm fucking with the music. Keep putting on for the 251. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, thank y'all for watching this. This is T and Cam signing out once again. Follow us on social media. Put your request in. And yeah.